Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My questions to the Minister of Finance. Order. Order. Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My questions to the Minister of Finance and asks. What reports has he received on the New Zealand economy, and how do these reports fit with the economic outlook to be presented in the budget next week? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the OECD has just released its latest country report on New Zealand, uh, which says the uh, economy is in good shape. Among other points, it says that, quote, economic growth continues to be strong, but so far inflation pressures have remained muted. Uh, thanks to renewed currency strength and moderate wage increases. The OECD is also says the government is on track to a small surplus next year. It follows the IMF making a favourable report on New Zealand recently. Uh, these reports are consistent with an economic picture uh, that puts New Zealand back on its feet and delivering gains for New Zealand families. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Simon O'Connor. What does the OECD's latest country report on New Zealand say about the outlook of the, uh, for the current account, and how does this outlook compare to New Zealand's current account position six years ago? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the OECD paints a much improved picture for the current account, certainly compared with the record deficits New Zealand was running up to 2008. It expects New Zealand's current account deficit to fall to 3.3 per cent by December this year, then expects the current account deficit to shrink further to 2.7 per cent of GDP next year. I can't help thinking this improvement is directly related to the Labor Party saying that it's a crisis. Not only is this considerably better than deficits of around 8 per cent of GDP in the years up to 2008, it is much better than the situation that Treasury has been forecasting since Budget 2009, where it predicted a deficit of 5.5 per cent for 2013, when it actually turned out to be about 3.5 per cent. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How is the higher growth outlook for the economy translating into more jobs for New Zealanders, and what will the budget forecast be for jobs over the next four years? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, interestingly, the uh, Household Labour Force figures released today uh, showing that 84,000 more people were employed in the year to 2014 indicate that we are on track to deliver 170,000 uh, new jobs uh, discussed back in Budget 2010. The Quarterly Employment Survey also out today showed average wages increased, average wages increased by 2.5 per cent in the year, well ahead of inflation of 1.5 per cent. Labour market participation that is the uh, proportion of the uh, working age population available for work increased to 69.3 per cent, the highest level recorded ever in this series. Uh, alongside that high participation rate, unemployment remained steady at 6 per cent in March. Supplementary question, Simon O'Connor. What steps will the government take in the budget to further support sustainable economic growth and keep interest rates lower than otherwise might be? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, we will uh, assist keeping interest rates lower by being disciplined with fiscal policy, that is with government spending and revenue, uh, and ensuring that the, uh, uh, we can get more houses built more quickly to prevent a runaway housing market. Uh, it's going to be, we would expect that if we can meet these conditions, we'll do much better than the run up to 2008 when first mortgages reached 11%, uh, when government spending was out of control and the housing market uh, was running away. Question number three, Andrew Williams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Finance. For each of the years ending 30 June,